Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome to just a really quick tutorial that I want to show you guys um, because the other day I was, you know, I did an episode where I got to the overworld in interactions and I was setting homes and I didn't realize it was an admin thing. Um, I honestly had no idea. It didn't dawn on me until uh, Severe said, you know, that's technically cheating. So I was like, oh, whoops. But I want to show you a really quick way uh, that you can do this even in like standard play where you don't have multiple homes that you can set where you can still teleport uh, you know bounce teleporters and piggyback them so that it makes exploration a whole lot easier in this pack so what you would do is you'd make your overworld portal portal and let's hop over to the overworld real quick and of course I'm doing this just in a single player thing to show you guys really really quick how you can do this Okay, so now that we're in the overworld, what we can do is right here at the portal, you know, we could block this off or whatever, but we're going to do a slash set home, and it's going to say home, home set. Let's take one of our teleporters that they give you for the quest. Um, you do get two of these for the quest. We're just going to set that down right there. We're not going to put anything in it, and we're going to go off exploring. So let's pretend like we've explored really far and we want to be able to warp back to our home. All we got to do is shift right click like right here. And then we can do slash home. It takes us back here. And then whenever we're ready to go back out, we just take this ender crystal that we linked. We put it in there. We come over here. We shift. And there we go. We're back out to where we were. Okay, now I can't teleport back and I can't go back and get my quick my crystal, but they gave us two of them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come out a little bit further. And we're going to say, okay, we've explored to here. Now we want to go back. Shift, right click, slash home. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click, pull our old crystal out, and insert the new one. And then we can take this crystal and, um, let me set this to game mode survival, let me set it to peaceful. Uh, what I can do is I can take this old ender shard and I can unlink it. And then I can just warp back and I can continue climbing this huge mountain that's taken me a couple trips. <laughs> and I can come up here and now I can shift right click there and back to home, pull it out, replace. There we go. Okay, and we can keep uh, rinsing and repeating this, so it makes exploration a whole lot easier, so you don't really have to explore at night. You can just warp back to the safety of your hole in the ground or, you know, your sky block or whatever. These these teleporters do not work cross-dimensionally, so you'll need to set it just right outside of your portal, uh, but that shouldn't be a problem. You know, set it out there. If you spawn over an ocean, you know, just build a little platform or something uh, to work from, but um, it will make exploration a whole lot easier, picking back piggybacking these teleporters. So when you're exploring, you really only need to have one of these teleporters. The other one's just a freebie. I'm, I'm using both of mine because I'm using it to move around um, within my base because my base is it's going to be pretty big. So, uh, But while you're exploring, you can piggyback those. So anyways, I just wanted to quickly show you that. Very, very quick thing. Um, not much to it, but uh, if you're having issues with the teleportation or with travel, I mean, um, and, and exploring the world when you're first starting out. That's a really, really simple way to do it. So anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful for those of you that were having troubles with it um, because I know I had some questions about it, and so hopefully that helps things out a bit. So um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, if it helped you, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out, and I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.